So just like in Cisco iOS and a lot of command line interfaces, we have the capability to use pipe commands to filter the command output. Some of the useful pipe commands available in Junos are listed here in front of you. And this isn't a complete list, but it will be some of the most helpful ones. The find, so you can show interface pipe find, the find command is going to give you, is going to search the output and begin at the first match. This is a lot like the begin pipe command in Cisco iOS pipe match will only display the lines that you specified. Pipe accept will display everything but the term that you specified. Count will provide a count of the lines. No more will display the entire output without a page break. And save will redirect the output to a file stored on the local file system. Now Junos also has some options for combining pipe commands that are quite powerful. If you stack two pipe commands next to each other you'll get a logical AND operation. For example the command show log messages pipe match fail pipe match PFE will display all the log messages that reference fail and PFE, so we would only see the failures of the PFE. And show interfaces terse except down pipe count would give you a count of all the up interfaces. So we have show me everything except the down interfaces and then tell me how many lines there are. All it would give you is a count of those interfaces. You can also do a, a logical OR operation by wrapping the command in parentheses and quotation marks. So for instance, show log messages match SNMP or management would show all the log messages that mention SNMP or management in them. And then sometimes you're going to want to learn some little shortcuts. These are just little helpful hints that help you working in the command line make your life a little bit easier. Some of the keystrokes that can prove helpful while you're working in Juno's command line are listed here. The control X will delete everything you had typed on the line up to this point. Control W will backspace a whole word at a time. Control K will erase from the cursor forward. So if you've started typing a long command and you want to arrow back halfway through the command and issue control K, it will clear out from there forward. If you want to move back to the beginning of the line, you can shortcut that with control A. Or if you need to move back to the end of the line, you can short that with control E. So let's take a look at some of these on the command line. 